interest in football grew pretty early on in South Australia with local sportsman and business identity John Ackerman apparently importing five footballs and paying for a set of goalposts at St Peter's College in the early 1850s. Now the first Adelaide football club, not the one we know today, was formed in 1860 and the members they basically played each other. They'd split into teams based on which side of the river they lived on or whether they went to college or not and they'd wear pink or blue caps. Eventually from 1870 onwards other teams started to form. Port Adelaide and Kensington were a couple of them. The main problem of organised football in the early years in South Australia was that they couldn't agree on a set of rules. Adelaide had their own set of rules based on that Harrow style of play and Kensington formed their own rules based more on a rugby style of play. Now both teams refused to play each other's rules so they were continually having to negotiate what rules to play by each time they met. Finally, in April 1877, the South Australian Football Association was formed, just a couple of weeks ahead of the Victorian Football Association, which was formed in May of the same year. You crow eaters will love that. Now they formally agreed to go with a set of rules that were very similar to the Victorian rules because they hoped to have intercolonial matches. They also formally agreed to go with an oval ball and play with 20 players a side. One, two, three, four. Thank you.